I was looking at some um, financial results on the French newspapers and I saw this beautiful chart and I thought, well, it'd be nice if I could try and reproduce it uh, or at least something close to it uh, for budgets. Um, maybe it would work also for task, but um, I thought budget would be a better fit. So this is what I've done and I'm just going to walk you through it. If you want to uh, do the same one, you can. There's no problem there. Uh, I will give you all the information. Now let's see how this is built. To start with, we obviously need some type of project list or a task list uh, that, that would have some uh, budget attached to it. So here you have, for instance, a list of tasks and I have budgets. It would make more sense with projects, but I think this is just for, uh, as an example, I think it would work okay. So you would have the task here and here you would add a colon where you would put the budget. Uh, the font I'm using is Aptos Narrow and I'm using the font size of 9 so, so that you know and as we progress I can show you which color I'm using as well. So just the first thing that I'm doing is I'm just putting two different types of uh, estimates at different point in time. So the first time obviously you would have only uh, the current, um, estimated completion current. Uh, you would start off with only this one here, but uh, as you progress, you move this to the left hand side and that will become the estimate at completion previous and estimate the completion current. So let's be careful here. I'm putting estimate at completion. So that means the total budget. That's something that uh, I've noticed a lot of um, people don't, don't really understand. It's just, it's not what's left to be done. It's what has been done plus our estimate of what is left to be done. So estimate at completion, not estimate to complete. So for instance, here I have a, a budget of 120K for this. And the previous uh, estimate at completion, I added uh, all my actuals plus the budget forward and I came up with 110. So there, there was a variation of 10,000 and that's 8%. So that's a positive variation in my view because we are planning to spend less. And this is the, the next or the current. This is the, the, the one we add now. Uh, the estimate of completion had jumped to 130,000. So we, we are now in a negative because it's less 10,000, not compared with the previous, compared with the budget, the initial budget. And this is a minus 8% this time. So this is it. So the the color scheme I'm using just in case you're wondering is just I'm going in the page layout here and just to show you that I'm using the latest office um, theme here so not the 13 to 22 the, the office theme here and I'm playing just with the blue here at the moment I'm being very sober here it's just a how do you call this one the dark blue and those are different variations of all the dark blue. So the deeper here, the lighter here, and then the two in, in uh, between here. So this is where, uh, where, what I'm doing. So I'm just doing the, the estimate of completion here. To calculate this very easy, so you, you remove this from the budget, and that tells you if it's positive or negative. And this is a, a very simple uh, percentage. So here I just calculate the percentage. Nice. And I do the same here. Remember, still based on the initial budget. So when this is done, uh, I'm doing this. So I've seen that also on a, on a newspaper. And um, I like the way there is something uh, uh, at the end like this, just uh, the dot, 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 just to get to, for you to marry uh, more easily the total here and the text and the project here. How did I do this? Um, I just <laughs> brutally added you, can, you could use the concatenate, but I'm just using the cell here, this event here, and I just put the end, and then all this. Make sure it's longer, it's, uh, it's very long, and don't worry about it uh, going over because we have a cell just here. If, you, if we didn't have a cell here, that'd be a bit of a, of a mess because that would, that would keep uh, going, so we would have to put something blank. But as we have something here, it stops right here. So you could even, if you wanted, add a bit of a space between um, between the text and the, the dot, but I think this is close enough. And then obviously you're doing all this. Uh, I've decided to, to do it only every two rows um, and put a bit of a gray here. I think uh, every row, I think, uh, will look a bit cluttered, especially when we go into the, the conditional formatting, which is the, the chart. So you just uh, copy this and you add all these uh, dots in the end. 
all these dashes in the end. And here I'm just replicating the, the total. So, you know, uh, if you present that uh, to an executive board or, or something, you can just hide all this using the data group. And then you hide it all, and then you only have this. <laughs> and then when we have the chart, obviously it will look better, but uh, this is where I wanted to reproduce this. So we are progressing now. So we've done this and here, this is just a brutal equal to that budget colon here. Now, all the rest is here. So let me just um, uh, show you how I am building this first. I'm just going to uh, do a new one here. So I'm just put a maybe a bit of a wider colon here. And here, what do I do? I just simply so here we would have the, the, the previous. Let me just uh, try with the previous first. Here, I just put equal to the 8% here. This is it. And I will do this all the way down. And I'll uh, actually need to remove every two. I mean, I could I could do this using conditional formatting, uh, format cells. And I just need to make sure that I only show positive value here. Uh, positive will be 0 percent. Negative will be obviously zero minus zero percent, and all the rest should not show, and I don't want to show it, and that's it. Okay, so if you didn't see that, you need to go back and do a, 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 a print screen or something. The way it works is shows you, you first you need you're showing how you showing you're showing how you're showing the negative the positive, after you're showing how you're showing the negative, and then the fact that there is nothing here will put everything else blank. So the zero value and a text value will show as blank. This is what I wanted. Um, now I'm just going to put that back to the proper font. We said nine and uh, bold, but uh, actually this doesn't have a lot of influence here. You'll see why. Here I'm just now going to conditional formatting and I'm uh, selecting data bar. I don't want to go the gradient one. I don't want to be that first fussy. And I'm just going here. I'm just pressing this one here. So now there is a, a few things wrong <laughs> with this. The first thing is the color are too bright. And the second thing is that uh, as soon as something is, you know, the, it takes the largest value and you put the full width of the colon. Here, minus 27% the full width, uh, full width, sorry, and here 25% the full width, which is not what we want. We won't have 100% uh, as a full width. So how do we deal with this? We go under manage rules, uh, we do edit, and here, you know, I try with percentage, but I'm to prefer to do number. Here, you put the minimum number, you want to put minus one. The maximum number, what do you want? One. So, which means between minus 100% and towards 100%. One is 100%. The solid field, so this is where I'm going to the mild dark blues again. Uh, uh, which one? Uh, I think it's one of those two, as long as it's quite dark. And then, uh, no border, that's okay. I'm clicking on negative values and axis. And here I just the fill color, I want to change it. So negative bar fill color, fill color, I want to change it and I want to put you go into the standard colors and you select the one on the left if you want to do it exactly like me. And then you go back onto it because it's not dark enough in my view. And I go under more colors. And here I slide this down because I want it a bit deeper. This is the deep view that we want. Hopefully that will look better this way. And here I apply and that's it. So here you notice that makes it a bit too narrow based on the percentage that we have. So it shows you the, the positive value on the right and the negative towards the left. And I think that looks quite good. Uh, okay, so something else is you don't want the, the percentage showing here. So you go back here, you go under manage rules, you go back to the same rule and here show bars bar only. And now the numbers have disappeared. They're still here, but they have <laughs> disappeared. That makes sense. Now I wanted to have the negative values on this side and the positive values on this side. So surely that's something that a challenge that we, that we can <laughs> take on. So it's just a simple if, I suppose, if 
if this value of the percentage, oh, we say we go to the previous first, if this is positive, or let's just say negative, if it's negative, I put, I put it. If this is value negative, I put it. Otherwise, I just put zero. And that's it. Um, so here we're going to have the same thing, uh, zero. Oh, let me be lazy. And I just want to show you again. So here, first of all, that should be percentage. Uh, first of all, we're going to show percentage. We go back to our board nine. Uh, that might be actually a bit too small. Uh, and we want to remove all these 0%. Uh, so this is really uh, something that we had done before. We know how it works. So we just go back here. Uh, with a little look, I can find it here. Can it show me here? So I can find it again. And here we go. And we wanted those or the, the deep uh, red as well. So I'll go in the recent colors and I select the deep red. And that's it. I've done one side. Now, um, let's go back and do the same on the other side. So uh, I can copy that. I should have uh, really locked the colon. But here, just a matter of changing this. Uh, I know I want to do this one. I know I want to do this one, 8%. And, but this time, it's if, if it's positive. All right. OK, so I'm just going to drag all this down. Now. I'm going to copy, so that has kept the, uh, the formatting, which is good. But I want to put a dark blue here. Put a dark blue here. This one too dark. Perfect. OK. So uh, let's see what happens when I have something bigger than 25% here. Uh, what was the 60, the estimate? Uh, let's say if I do 20,000, for instance. Uh, oops, no, that's not the one I wanted to do. It's this one. Okay, 67. Okay. Yes, that's the, that's working. All this is working. So what have I done here? Uh, let's click on this. I've just added more or less the same just to, to remind people this is the previous with this blue. Uh, the deep, uh, the deeper blue here for the current. So I've done all this. Uh, something that I haven't done yet is just put a very light gray. So I've put a very light gray here. That that helps a little bit to 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 visualize. And here a very light gray as well. So you go under the, here and you take the the top uh, of the gray here, and you apply it on every single thing. So if I hide the one I just created here, I'm just going to hide it. If I had this, OK, we, we're practically done. Uh, so as I was mentioning before, you can remove this. And then uh, you can just show this. Uh, you create a print, a print zone. You can put here project name. It's a bit too small. And that's it. I think that looks good. I think uh, that that's, uh, helped them uh, uh, notice the changes. For instance, here you see, oh, I was 83% um, and now I'm just 67%. There's something going on here. Here, on the other hand, I was uh, 13 and now I'm minus, minus 63. What's going on? I think it's a very good, positive, different way. Uh, I think the challenge when you show black and white always, always the same report, it's hard to have uh, to have uh, people around the meeting room motivated to have a look at it. But if you present something like this, I think they'll be more interested and um, they will ask questions, which is what you want.